and grow YouTube show. So yeah. what has your experience been with social media and your brand? Because I can imagine that you blowing up on TikTok was probably directly correlated to Stylish and all of your opportunities, um, you know, pouring in. Yeah. Oh, man, I have the same struggle. And ultimately remembering that it's a job as well is important and having those kinds of boundaries with mm -hmm. social media because it's a job for you. Um, but yeah, it, it's insane, the power and the free advertising. I mean, it's not free because you have sweat, sweat you equity have in there. Yeah, yeah, right. And it sure takes a lot of time. But Right. So I had this clubhouse, which was a, um, a TikToker mansion creator house, basically in Beverly Hills that they found me through social media. And they said, Hey, we have this wall in the backyard. We want to make a plant wall into it. Can you do it? And I got that job because I am on social media, right? Same. I, I worked with, um, Neve Shulman, who is the host of catfish. I don't know if you've seen oh, yeah. that. Yeah. I loved him on dancing with the stars. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, it's funny. We kind of connected because of that, which is another story for another time. But, um, I helped Reese. He had a new, um, penthouse that he bought in Brooklyn and I went and helped him plant style that space. Um, and I haven't get, gotten to post about that project yet because we're waiting for something kind of behind the scenes press related, but, um, that became a possibility because of social media. So, and I do get a lot of things. I, I know that if social media died, I would still have plenty of work. I just did a hotel last week that had nothing to do with social media, right? So I kind of have that balance of word of mouth on a just day-to-day -day basis and social media, but you've got to keep chugging along on social media because so many beautiful things come from it. Um, and just make sure that you're still allowing for some play times so that still becomes a fun thing for you. Yeah. How do you manage that? Oh gosh, that's how do you manage it? Honestly, <laughs> uh, I don't, I, I'm still either. figuring it out. Asking, but asking for a friend. <laughs> I am the worst person to give advice on this because if you look at my social media, there have definitely been periods where I haven't been consistent. Mm -hmm. Um, and, and that's because there was so much going on in the world and my life and all these <laughs> businesses that mm -hmm. I've been running. Um, but I've gotten a lot better at it and, you know, having a schedule, has been pretty important for me because then I can plan ahead. Mm -hmm. Um, not necessarily always filming ahead, but just knowing when I want to post things is pretty important, especially for TikToks because it's more planning involved for TikToks for me. Stories, I go a little more on the off the cuff kind of planning, but for TikTok, lots of calendar <laughs> situations and also having the right tools. That is an underrated thing. That's really important. Like I, put off getting a tripod for my iPhone. And so then every time I had to film something, I'd had to find something to prop on, mm. you know, you don't realize how much time you waste setting up. Same with lighting every time the light would change. So I'd have to, you know, and I've just recently invested in a lot of things for my studio and, you know, it wasn't cheap, but it's going to save me so much time, which time is money. Mm -hmm. So investing in your tools, don't wait. If you know, you're going to use something more than two times, just buy it and have it. Even if it's not a super expensive piece of equipment, you find the cheaper one. If it's going to save you time and you're going to be making content for a long time, don't wait to invest on that kind of stuff. You can find a ring light on Amazon for $29 yes, exactly. with the iPhone holder. My cast, right. when I was on cats used to make so much fun of me because my trunk, every person, when you travel on a musical gets like this trunk and you can keep out of season clothes in it and you can keep, nice. you know, like your books and shit that you don't want to keep in your, your, um, suitcase. And mine was filled with studio lights. <laughs> like it was filled with ring lights, studio lights, extra microphones, my whole podcasting kit. They were like, Oh my God, Maria, you have all the gear, <laughs> but you're right. Like it, time is money. And also man, a ring light makes a huge difference, right? Yes, um, it does a steady hand, you know, a tripod instead of a shaky hand or, yep. um, also for me, like when you talk about boundaries, like explore, like figuring out boundaries with my now husband, who was my boyfriend turned fiance through the, through the, gro the growth of blooming grow. Um, you know, I had to figure out, okay, I have to stop asking him to shoot all my videos for me. Like yep. I need to be a little bit more self-sufficient when it comes to this stuff yes. too. Um, which is really interesting. <laughs> Do 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 do